Hey guys, I wanted to come and talk to you today about choosing your heart and embracing the suck. Because <laughs> we all know there are a lot of moments like that in life. So I wanted to give a little bit of my own story. I thought it might resonate with some of you. So many of you know I started my mompreneur journey about seven years ago and I was working full time and going to school at night and there were many reasons that I was looking for something else. I mean, first of all, who doesn't love extra income? I, you know, I don't know many people, I don't know anybody who's like, no, I have enough money, I don't need extra money. And second of all, I really wanted to something that I could have more flexibility to be with my kids. So although my job was really flexible, it's still, you know, somebody was paying me a paycheck. So if they needed me to work, I, I understand that they, they needed me to work. I, I just wanted to have that flexibility to have more time with my kids and have something for me. So I started my mompreneur gig in very part-time hours. And uh, five months later on New Year's Eve, my boss flew in and told me I was getting laid off. And it wasn't anything that I had done at my job is that simply we were losing funding. And it was like the craziest feeling. I'd never been laid off or fired from anything before. And it really, I was carrying our family's health insurance at the time. The computer that I used for my home and pleasure it was paid for by my company. Uh, I didn't realize how much I had relied on somebody else to really take care of our family's benefits and our financial wherewithal, our financial well-being. And it was a really scary feeling. And so right away I started looking for other jobs, but I also realized that I had this entrepreneurial side business that I could really build and not have anybody have the power to do that to me ever again. So it was, it was all of it has been really hard Working for somebody else is really hard because you're at their whim on if you get promoted, what your benefits look like, what your hours look like, what your job looks like, who you work with. Being a mom is super hard. We know that day in and day out, our kids can change their minds and their attitudes and the stages that they're at in any given minute. Uh, we get minutes of hugs and long days sometimes of really challenging moments and then the best moments in hugs and kisses in the world. And so when I was thinking about entrepreneurship, I knew it was gonna be really hard. There were a lot of things that were way outside of my comfort zone reaching out to people, advocating for myself, marketing to new people, meeting new people. But I decided life is hard and I would rather have that flexibility and ownership over my own life than give that hard to somebody else. So it's something for all of you, you can check out my blog post from this week, uh, Mompreneur Next Door. Uh, at Blogspot. I'm actually working on a, a website that should be available soon, mompreneurnextdoor.life, so that's coming soon, so I'm excited about that. But I wrote about it this week, and, and you know, life is hard, so pick your hard, and be, if you're your own boss, nobody can ever take that away from you again. Our family, we now have our own health insurance benefits, I have my own computer, nobody can take that away from me, and you guys, that's really powerful to have ownership over your own financial future, over your own well-being, and not give somebody else that power. So think about it. I hope this gets some of you thinking and making sure you have other revenue sources out there, other, other revenue streams, because it's really, really important with our pensions going away and social security being so uncertain. So think about it, embrace the suck, know life is hard, and find the best hard for you.